Part 3 of Klonoa. I don't know how to introduce this any better. <laughs> um, now that um. the door has eaten our key, let's move on. There you go. There's your intro. I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, um... <clears throat> Unfortunately, we have entered Fern Gully now. Fern Gully? Hmm. Do, you, do you think anyone actually lives in these huts? They look awfully small. I think we're like, like outhouse. I, I think we're like in Wind Village where they have houses, but no one besides us live that live there. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, like I like the end of the game, population. all the characters return. And it's like, oh, we have to save the world. You mean just save ourselves? I haven't met anyone else in this entire planet. <laughs> <laughs> we just ran into another wooden door with a key strapped to our back that rivals Cloud's Buster Sword in size. The key just vanishes, and the door randomly opens. Um. Okay, uh, makes sense to me. And these things, and these little leaves, are floating over nothing. There's no wind. <laughs> this is what they should have used. How do you know that? They should have used the stupid How do you wind. know that? You can't see wind, can you? They should have used a stupid wind move for this. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's actually... Yeah, I didn't they? Oh. Uh, Stupid wind moves. Mushrooms. Not content uh, to just rip off other platformers, we have to rip off Mario. <laughs> uh, and, the, and yes, those little blocks well, things are invincible, so don't even try killing them. Uh, fun times. All right, what are those things? Oh, the very <laughs> things they doubled the amount, the amount the little gems give you for a limited time. Wow, that was so utterly pointless. She is in time. <laughs> Bless me. Ah, oh, we're at the end of the level. Huzzah. Hooray. I don't know what the point of that little turn there was, but whatever. Yes, yeah, so we come all this way to find out that the stupid way to get to the lady is blocked. Uh, and this of guy course. has the most annoying voice. <laughs> they couldn't have waited just three more seconds to shut down the water supply, could they? Could they? No, that would have been convenient. <laughs> Jug pot. Jug pot. That's ha! redundant. The water. The water. <laughs> jug pot. Ha! Jug. That's redundant. Oh, oh, and the forest. The forest with the locks in it is called Four Lock Forest. Because it's a forest with locks. You see? Ha! Jug pot ha! is redundant. It? <laughs> it's like plate dish. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't be surprised if there is a place called Plate Dish in Phantom Isle, actually. The king is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong at all. Ignore the last Thank dialogue you bubble. This place You're out of order! <laughs> this place is dangerous for kids. Klonoa is twice your size, you stupid idiot. I wonder if the two villains whose names must always be highlighted in red are involved. Hmm. And Klonoa just blindly goes along with whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> he really is just Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> with a voice. Yeah, Although with a I voice. think, you know, <laughs> Chrono was actually a little more tolerable because of that. <laughs> huh. I, I love how he just, like, uh, when you go into a level, he crosses his arms and his hair, and his like his like ears blow in the wind, Super Saiyan style or something, for no apparent reason. He says he he begins the level with "Come on, let's go" with the, and he says it when you pick the stage. That's redundancy at its finest. <laughs> Jug pot, four luck. Come on, Jug let's pot. Go. <laughs> plate dish. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, I can't go through water. <laughs> what? Ow. He's waterphobic? Oh, wait. Jug pot actually has, like, jugs of water in it. Huh. Must defy physics. Kind of <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this makes no sense. One, how would the water be able to flow upwards like that? Two, if the water it's coming from is dry, there shouldn't be any water to power the waterfall. <laughs> and how does it know when to arc? Physics, if anything, please. the water should be floating endlessly towards space. Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein would like to have a word with you. <laughs> They're rolling in their graves. <laughs> uh, 
whatever, just go. Hmm. Yay, conveniently placed platforms jutting out of a waterfall for no apparent reason. <sighs> Does everyone in Phantom Isle have to jump their way wherever they go? I mean, seriously? It's part of the exercise <laughs> regimen. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone must. It's the reason nobody in video games are ever fat because they have to. They had their. They have to travel the same way as as the actual player to get anywhere. Unless you're a warrior who is kind of just fat because <laughs> he just tackles through everything. <laughs> because that's evil. <laughs> <laughs> now, could you have gotten crushed right there? No. Okay. I don't think you can get crushed in this game. Hmm. Cause that would be too cruel. We can't hurt the bunny. Peta would be on her asses. <laughs> God damn it! What happened? Only I animals. <laughs> only animals can hurt other animals. Yeah. Everything else is cruelty to animals, even though humans are technically animals. animals. Yeah. Okay. Well, it makes um just about as much sense as anything in this game. So Ow. let's go with it. It's awfully weird. Yay. It's awfully Strike weird. Hurt ball. cry. What the hell is he saying? Hanya. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hanya. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of those those guys in Rurouni Kenshin. Uh, there's someone named Hanya in there anyway. I don't know. I I haven't watched it in a while. A bored joke. I I forget. Yeah. Lenoa awfully likes to shout for every little action he does. He's a platform character, what do you expect? True. But now wow. I think about it's... what happens if his voice was replaced with Sonic's voice from Sonic Unleashed whenever you did a speed boost. Go! 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 Yeah. Whoa! Woo! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ow. Flying bunny thing. Why can't I fly like that bunny? He has smaller ears than I do. <laughs> your ears go down to the back of your head. <laughs> Yay, water slide. That you can control the rate you go down, even though that's also not physically really even possible. I will give this game props. It's it's kind of pretty <laughs> to look at. It's sort pretty. Of. It has a good soundtrack, and it's a good starting point for kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's one of the big enemies that isn't really any harder than the small enemies. Except that it respawns infinitely! Haha! <laughs> Take that! It's really only supposed to be a platform. Yep, be my stepping stone. <laughs> Indeed. Hooray! You exist, only for me to step on you. And I have full life, even though I, again, I don't really need it. Uh, you said that about the checkpoint, and then you fell <laughs> seconds later. Oh, a shield. This is going to be interesting. My one weakness. Oh, wait. I just jumped <laughs> behind him. Never mind. <laughs> wow, that checkpoint was in the foreground. That's so challenging. It's so useful. It's so not pointless. 3D. Um, what was I saying? Hey, look. A double jump that I really miss. <laughs> New <laughs> you <legend>. fucked <laughs> that up so oh, bad. I want. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of being able to sort of triple jump your way up by using enemies, but, uh, yeah. No, you don't. There's uh, no sound effect. I don't hear anything. Hi, Wendy Lee. Uh, Wendy Lee count plus one. Yep. Is that Cream the Rabbit? No, it's Wendy Lee. <laughs> it sounds like Cream the Rabbit, but... Do I really want the to switch her? is in the background? No, I'm debating whether or not I should let her go because she sounds like Cream Rabbit and is therefore annoying. I hope this this fish has no major part in the story. Does she have a major part in the story, Ryan? No. Okay, good. I'm just going to start sipping some Jack Daniels for the first time in my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh. We don't care. Quest time. Of course she is. Yeah. And of course there is. And of course we will because She's the cutscene will be the same. That's a pretty big jump there, Hupo. 
<laughs> Your mother is clearly evil. Well, <laughs> she's acting slightly well, different like, than she was before. She must have been brainwashed by some evil sorcerer. <laughs> well, of course, because his name is highlighted in red! Um, and he dresses in black, and we really don't know anything else about this guy, do we? No. In fact, we never and do he learn has... anything else about this guy. He has a creepy okay. voice. Okay, why did I ask? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Wendy Lee. 